Hello, we are here in Valencia, 2013. We are in the last hours before the final test for Sensei Chao. He is preparing his test for Shidoshi. It's a very hard test, and we would like to, to ask some questions, to make an interview related to the all his experience along all these years that has uh, led him to arrive to this point. Then the first question for him is uh, the people it's always uh, thinking about how it's difficult, uh, how hard it is the evolution in Bugay. Uh, the Bugay as a traditional way it's very hard and seems uh, an especial struggle to, to evolve for all the, the, the students then. When you are reaching this point, the, not the last point of course, but this point uh, that you are next to Shidosh, how you can evolve in this, in, at this point is to say how we can uh, make an evolution when the things has be, become more difficult, more hard, please. Well, first of all, thank you for this interview. It's my pleasure to be here. And that's a very interesting and important question. You know, there are so many uh, branches we can have to talk about this. Now, let's see. Uh, when we talk about evolution, we, we reach a very particular point of discussion and of knowledge, which can be very interesting, you see. From the point of view of the ancient masters, evolution is such a irresponsible thing. On one hand, evolution seems to be the trend of the nature itself. On the other hand, what you have is that evolution could mean you know, leaving one state of mind, one state of life itself to go to another state in which you don't know exactly what is going to happen or how how will you interact or see things you know, you know for for once you evolve one has to um, to to quit or to leave behind a particular uh, thought or way to understand something to go to another way of understanding things and this another way by definition is unknown yet uh, so this uh, this concept by itself changes a bit what, what how we see evolution you know? uh, nature seems to have a, a clear trend a clear uh, path aiming evolution aiming um, how one can adapt to the new environment and the new needs um, however, when we talk about uh, uh, internal evolution, things might change a bit, you know. I always heard, uh, in all these years, my teachers always just used to say that in Bugay, Bugay it's a difficult path, you know? But it's a path, as any other path, one can find its own path, its own way, uh, in painting, in his, his job, you know, in engineering, in shodo, or in whatever. It's not the path itself, it's the path in which the person feels that he now belongs to something or is part of something bigger. He may connect himself with something bigger than himself and then he finds, he may find his own way. A political uh, a picture, a, a, a big picture for, for that we can have is like a leaf, you know, which lands on the surface of a river, you know. A leaf could have his own, uh, his own point of view, his own uh, consciousness, but in the, in the end, he will be just, it will be just uh, uh, carried along the, the river. So, um, talking about Bugay now, about our school, about what we have, you know, and our own path. You see, uh, what I have always heard from, from, my, from my master, from my teacher, is that usually, very often, in Bugay, what, what propels you forward, what impulses you, you know, what, what brings you forward is your, uh, are your, your dreams, you know? What you have inside you, which motivates you, which 
keeps you going and practicing and, and trying when, when you find frustration, when you find uh, when you don't feel uh, safe or when you don't feel Uh, something like when your interior trembles and you are not sure of if you are going to be able to do that and, and so on. And um, well, etiquette and behavior in our school is also very important and very rigid. You know? So uh, all the rest supposedly would bring you backward. All the rest would would behave in a way to. Um, not to not to assist you, not to help you, you know, the difficulties, the struggle for that. These would be old times. You know? In our in our current age, in our time, of course, we can find other uh, other mechanisms in which we are not as the ancient people were, because all their life was just that. If you stop to think, for example, if we think like three hundred years ago the world was so much smaller, you know, there was so uh, uh, less people in the world. Uh, well, in this year we have passed over 7 billion people in our planet, and uh, but most of these people, or many of these people are connected, they can talk to each other at any time, at any minute, you know. I got here uh, a month ago, and before that we were chatting, we were talking, we were exchanging information almost daily. Uh, well, but where does this lead? It leads to the point that even though a person may find himself um, capable of uh, uh, um, dreaming, very often these dreams, when the person first comes to a school, when he first comes to a school, he dreams about martial arts, about being invincible. We all want to have a perfect and a strong technique. Now, uh, what psychology shows us is that the reason for that, the reason that motivates that, is that we want to be invincible. But the true reason behind that is that we have fear. We have fears, we, we all have fear, all men have fear. You know? And uh, this fear motivates the need or the desire to be invincible, so I can feel myself safe. And this and the method or a, a means for that would be to have a perfect and flawless technique. So, so this is one of the examples of a dream that someone could, could, could bring along and he could have and he could uh, have this with him. Now if we go further, we can, uh, we can stop and think, but hey, uh, every, every person is a universe himself. And uh, inside himself he has his own world and his own world of, of, of his thoughts and his dreams and, and uh, opinion and, and points of view. So, this leads us to the next point, which is very often when he comes to some uh, martial, uh, bad, a martial art, which he still doesn't know, um, he may have his, his dreams, his motivation, you know, which concerns uh, his own personal history, which concerns his own uh, previous histories, which he just had in his life. Now, Many times what, the, what that master, what that teacher does is he allows the student to live in that reality. You know, he might even uh, interact with that student in such a manner that pleases him, that makes him feel better, makes him, makes him feel stronger, you know, in his own dream. We all know if we take you know, a, a zoom and if we see the big picture, it is quite clear in this simple example that um, the desires in which we have, the, the dreams that we have, they may be just an illusion. They, they may be a product of uh, our, uh, our wishes, our desires, they may be just a result 
of uh, all these steps and all the situations we have lived and uh, that of course is uh, interacting with our our genes and with what we are made of you know, it can result in our own illusions and our own dreams the reason for that the, the reason for the master or for the teacher to allow him to to live his own path and his own dreams is that he will have you know, sooner or later he will have to find out in his own way how to quit what is not part of himself, of his true being. That means, well, this is a desire. I feel this, I want to be invincible, I want to, I want to perform techniques as I see my teacher, as I see my senpai doing, I want to be just as they are. So, sooner or later, he will just have to realize, not as a concept, but in himself, that, um, well, this is not me. This is, uh, this is something which comes from my imagination. So how can I be myself? How can I find the better me? At this time, some, uh, at this point in time, some of his dreams may just fall apart. But yet a new reality comes, so a new scenario comes in which he can find himself a different, um, a different person with a different um, point of view, you know, a different horizon comes from that. And uh, well, if he came from here and now he is here, and if he left something inside him, we can call this that a step of evolution. We could take yet many, you know, tens of other examples, uh, which of course, they, of course, they are studied. But this is just one example for your your question. You see, it's a very interesting question in which in which we could talk for you know for hours, which would be a very interesting theme. But um, in the end of the day, what we see is that evolution uh, it does take effort. It does take willingness to uh, take what you are right now you know, and think about that. Find your own concepts, find your own reality, and uh, understand um, in your in your own personal history what would be your next step. Very clear. Thank you very much, Sensei. Okay.